What's poppin', y'all? Have a drink with me. Another video here. Today, we got An Idiot Abroad, Episode 2, Season 1. First episode, honestly, I had hella fun. You guys gave me a bunch of information in the comments, which was really interesting to actually read up on. Plus, I learned a lot from the show, and it was funny. So, I mean, obviously, we gotta do it again. So, let's get into it. Before we do, do me a favor. Go in the comments, comment what we should watch next, and subscribe, because if we hit 100k before the end of the year, I will go skydiving. And I, I, I don't want to piss myself and scream like a little girl, but I, I really want 100k, so I'll do it. Now, let's go. The Seven Wonders of the World. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. Like a pylon. <laughs> like oh, a fucking God. pylon. <laughs> I don't know the politically correct term. Moron. I think he is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, mank, moron, buffoon, <laughs> idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. Oh, he's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic. Bruh. Gone, <laughs> I, I know I already seen this intro, so like I don't really have much to say, but I just gotta say it again. You, Ricky, Ricky is a true friend. Because there's always those two friends. Like, there's always that friend that's like, yeah, I hope you have a great time. Then there's that friend like, man, I want to see you suffer because fuck you. I, like, you know, deep down it's all love, but yeah, you just want to fuck with each other. I, you, come on now. <laughs> shit. Shit. Yeah, no shit. I'm, I'd be gone too. Practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Let me go! Oh. Jesus Christ! Dude, it's got a branding shit and everything. What episode is that? Now this, you must be excited about seeing, surely. This truly, without question, is one of the seven wonders of the world. The extraordinary Taj Mahal. Yeah? Yeah. Built in the 17th century, it took them 22 years to construct it. Hold, well, hold up. And we are back! My bad. My stupid dog. Well, he's not stupid. I'm not going to say he's stupid. He's actually, he's probably smarter than me. But my damn dog decided to scratch my door in the middle of the video. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not good, is it? Is that what happened now? You go, what are they doing? It's the 17th century. A man who builds a mausoleum for his dead wife. So heartbroken, is he? Guilty. He obviously did something bad when she was alive. That's like, you know, <laughs> giving someone flowers, isn't it? I've never had to do that. I've never had to do that. Nah, nah. Yeah, like, I, I, the fucked up thing is he's kind of got a point, Loki. Like, yo, Taj Mahal. Yep, guilty. <laughs> yep, he, he must have did something. <laughs> like, now, I, he also probably did it as a memorial, but like, He's kind of got. He's kind of got a point, you know. <laughs> that should be going. What's been going on? <laughs> <laughs> why, why did he feel he had to do that? Because he loved her so much. It was a shrine to her memory. Yeah. Just a little elephant going down the street there. I can't imagine them being that good as a way of getting about. To me, that's like how people moan in London about people having four befores. You don't need an animal of that size to get about. It's way too big. Getting ill is my biggest worry about being here. I hate being ill. You know, Suzanne isn't around. I'm on my own. If I get ill, I'll just have to mope about on my own. I mean, it's definitely the poorest place I've ever been to. You know, without a doubt, and I, I don't know if I'll be able to get used to that. Fucking runaway horse! Rocco. Come here. Chill. 
I don't know if the mic picked it up, but he was growling at something. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm meant to be uh, meeting a, a local fella who rides one of these rickshaw things for a living. Um, Ricky and Steve thought it'd be a good idea for some reason. I, I, I can't work out what that reason is, though. This is madness. It's like standing in the middle of a motorway. I mean, what a place to meet a fellow who's got a Actually, rickshaw. though, that is, that is crazy how yeah, busy the roads are there. Like, it don't look like There's they got any there, organization. And then you go look at that, and as you turn that way, yeah. you see something over there. That's wild, man. Like, nah, actually, though, because you got to keep in mind, I've also never been outside of America, so I am just as clueless as Carl here. So, but look at it. Without a doubt. Look at how busy the roads are. Fucking runaway horse. It's doing me head in this. I mean, I'm meant to be uh, meeting a, a local fella who rides one of these rickshaw things for a living. Um, Ricky and Steve thought it'd be a good idea for some reason. I, I, I can't work out what that reason is, though. That's crazy how busy they are. It's like standing in the middle of a motorway. I mean, what a place to meet a fellow who's got a rickshaw. The eyes have never been so busy. There's always something there going, look at me. And then you go, look at that. And as you turn that way, you see something over there. So you like that. By the end of today, my neck will be well and truly worn out because it doesn't normally move. <laughs> <that far. laughs> These layers of madness. Uh, for what real, though. Where's he taking that? You can't say he's taking it to the tip. No. Because there's shit everywhere. God damn. It just overloads the bike so much that you just kind of think, get a van. <laughs> Is there any distinguishing features in this fella's in, in all in all fairness, Carl, I'm sure if they could afford a van, they would love to get a van. Let, let's be let's be real for a second. I don't think anybody's like, yeah, you know, as much as I'd love to get like the brand new van, now, I'm I'm gonna stick with this like old bike that I attached to a kid's fucking play car. Like, nah, let's let's be real for a second, Carl. If they could afford to. I'm sure they'd love a van. Yo. Hello. Come here, come here. Yeah, I, I know you. I know you better. Come here. I'm Mr. Ashik. Ashik. Yeah, yeah. I'm a rickshaw driver. Do you? Mr. Ricky has sent me. Okay. It's a bit of a mad place to sit and have a discussion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> public traffic. Oh. Oh. What the fucking hell is going on? Look this bus up my arse, are you? Oh. <laughs> No way I'm, oh. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I just I like the I feel like a British person is the best person for this shit because he's just like there's a fucking bus coming up my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> the way he talks is just it's funny to me. I don't know why, but it just is. Going through someone's cricket game. I, I'm, how long have I been there? I haven't even been in a full day yet. I thought the day was going to end, and I, you know, at least have a good night's kip. That's not going to happen now. Ashik's just invited me to stay with him. He lives in the back of his shop. You got a shop? You live in it as well? Yeah. I handle two jobs. The rickshaw. One, yeah. And make kebabs. This is my shop. Make my coffee. Oh yeah. Bugs on. Talk to me. These are my friends. Uh, would you like to uh, here to stay or here? On the um, bench. I'll, I'll just sit down there if that's all right. As you like. <laughs> so how would you sleep here? Yeah. What? Just flat out there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like he's no, even smiling too. <laughs> like that, he's even smiling too. It's like, yeah, what, bro? That's, that's my life. I mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, man, like, whenever I think my, you know, hey, man, my life might be hard, it's nice to, like, you know, look at how other people are living and be like, you know what, you got it pretty damn good, because that would suck having to sleep on the floor of a shop, you know, but I'm just a spoiled bastard, okay, so I can't talk. <laughs> Two, three, four. Like, with four other guys, Can that you would suck. why this is a little bit of a shock to me? This is the real life of uh, a person who is poor. When yeah. I found out that he ran a, a shop from where he lived, I kind of thought it'd be, you know, how you see chippies and they sort of got a living room in the back. And when you walk in, the bell goes and they run out from watching Emmerdale Farm or whatever and they say, what do you want? I'll have, have cod and chips. That's what I was expecting. Not sort of, uh, I mean, what is this? 
it isn't a living space, is it? Yeah. What's it lacking? What's he lacking? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even a toilet, actually, that's just only just hit me. I was yeah. worrying about having to use a traditional toilet. There isn't one, so that's that worry gone. But then... Where the fuck, yeah. What, what do we do? Go in the back? We are Indians. And we respect our guest. I already take a room from my friend for you. Special. Okay? So we're not staying here tonight? No, no, no. <laughs> what makes you think I will be happier in this other place? Have they got a toilet? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's all he <laughs> needed there. <laughs> <hair. laughs> Yo. You don't. Know, you know one thing I will say though about you know people who, it always seems like people who have everything ever handed to them like you know always seem to be a lot more like stuck up like the people who earn shit for themselves like I guarantee you even though hey yeah this guy might live in a way more shitty place I bet you he's way more nicer than the people living in the mansions guarantee fucking to you guarantee you so it's like hey man i i rock with this guy bro like the dude who's i forgot his name because he had the memory of a goldfish but i rock with this guy because it always seems like you know i was saying i'm spoiled compared to this guy but i guarantee you, you put me in a room then you put like i don't know the son of bill gates see see who's more chill honestly probably bill gates son but you know what beyond the point <laughs> you get what i'm saying this is more like it this is toilet. Toilet, brilliant. Well, how do you go? I don't understand the. Go, go, go. Turn, turn. I've got a minute, I'm just getting me back. Yeah. Now sit. No paper. I, I don't think I'll be able to go like this. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. Me body's just not used to this. All Indian also use these toilets. Really? I know, but do you understand how difficult it is for me? I've come from London. Yeah. Less than 24 hours ago, I was sat in one newspaper, quite happy. Yeah. Not, not even 24 hours ago. And now you're saying, come in here, give it that, you'll be all right. It's not as easy as that for me. My inside I get. Won't, yeah. won't allow it to happen. It is better. It can't possibly be better. Why not? Splashback. I didn't want to get into detail. No, no, no. Seriously, this is better. I, I mean... In all, in all fairness, though, I get what Carl's saying, so I feel like I'd probably be very similar to that. Like, you're used to a certain way of life, so when you're kind of thrown into something so different, you're, pr you're so like, whoa, how the fuck's this work? What? Like, I, I get what he's saying there, you know? Like, I do. I actually understand that. Well, you'll see tomorrow, because I'll tell you what, I'm getting first dibs on this. Oh, and you'll see tomorrow if it's better. When you come in here and you'll go, good God, who's been in here? <laughs> Let's see how good it is. <laughs> You're laughing, because you know I'm right. <laughs> right. Hopefully I won't need to go. Well, I didn't sleep well last night, did I? I'm still shattered from yesterday. I mean, that was a mental first day. It doesn't look like it's going to end either. I mean, Ashek's just given me some pyjamas to wear. He said, oh, you'll be needing these for, for your next surprise. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I mean, surprises are meant to be nice things, aren't they? What's up, Carl? It's got a text from Steve. Hi, Carl. India's not all poverty and urban chaos, mate. Well, obviously it hasn't been here because it is, so that straight away that's annoyed me. <laughs> Trying to get your arse up north for some exposure to the spiritual side of India. The biggest religious festival on the planet. Only 20 million pilgrims expected. He knows I hate crowds. Um, just one hurdle to get there. It's an eight-hour overnight bus ride. Excuse me, what's what's all this? Why are they covered in? Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. What? Wait, actually though, what is that? Now, bus station. You know the big bus. Big. <laughs> 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 Reload that. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, <laughs> he said. But uh, seriously, 
Can somebody in the comments tell me though, what was the colored like powder stuff? What's what's that about? Let me know in the com. I have a lot of uh, Indians who are subscribed to my channel, so maybe some if some of you guys are watching this, let me know. What what is that? You know, because I'm down to learn a little bit. going on. Just everybody just looks like they're painter and decorators. Everyone is just caved. Bro, they got it on the cow! Happy Oli! I just hope we don't stop at any more traffic lights, because every time we stop, someone slaps me face with a load of colour. <laughs> I like that. He said every time we stop, somebody slaps my face with a load of colour. That's tough. <laughs> Is this the bus station? Bus station. I'm trying to get a bus. You come with me. Bus is down here, yeah? This is color, this color, this color. This green, this yellow, this red. Today is festival day. Come, come with me. Come, my family is So they're, so they're partying. Look, this is my family. I can tell it's some kind of party, but what's the party about? Happy holidays. I might have missed it. Hmm. Let's go. Jam out to the drums. Happy Holly! Happy Holly! I mean, normally, if I'm messing about with pain, I'm quite a tidy worker. This wouldn't happen. <laughs> I didn't have time to not do it, did I? He said, come and meet me family. I'm like, alright, then next thing you know, it's like... I mean, it is paintball, basically, without the safety. There's no goggles involved. It was just... Oof. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's one thing though I gotta say that wouldn't happen in America is running up to like some random person on a holiday hey come meet my family let's go. like you don't even know that like that's the kind of stuff that just would not happen here though like I just gotta say I know that would never happen here <laughs> It was good that, you know, Ashek was concerned about my clothing and he gave me something to wear today. Yeah. He could have told me about the shoes. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's all very well telling me, like, to worry about a T-shirt that I think was, like, 12 quid from Top Man. I've got 70 quid trainers on. He didn't tell me to let them on. So, um, <laughs> yeah. they're knackered. Yesterday... I'm I not gonna lie, it kind of looks like I'm fun, though. I'll be okay tomorrow. Just, just when you think, right, I know what India means, and I know what it, what it's all about. This happened. Like, I got no idea what's going on, but I feel like it's one hell of a time. I must say, like, I, I low key, like, I low key want to go do this. You know, this actually looks fun. <laughs> like, just get doused in like random ass powder in different colors and start dancing around <laughs> like that, bruh. I don't know what the... That's fun as shit to me. I don't know what y'all saying. Anyway, where's this bus stop? They got a fucking warthog just running around. I'm not well, honestly. I feel really sick. I've got a fever. I can't tell if I'm sort of got a bit of a bad fever because, you know... Can't tell what colour I am. <laughs> but um, uh, I don't care anymore. I just sort of feel like if I'm gonna shit myself, I will. Because I just feel that sort of. Ill. Well, you might as well add brown to the rainbow, right? Shit. <laughs> Is that the, uh, there's a queue here, I'm just, he's, he's helping me out. Yeah? Is that alright? Sorry. Just a quick one. Just a ticket to Arabah. Come on, come on. Kicking off. I knew, I knew that would happen. You haven't done the queue. They're getting very Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm happy. I mean, at the end of the day, are these all for the same bus? You know, I don't want to be sat on a bus for eight hours with some people who, you know, pissed off with me. Yeah, that's oh. true. That's facts. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter how amazing that Taj Mahal is, it's not worth all this. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. I'm not even good. 
Damn. <laughs> he said, I don't care how amazing the Taj Mahal is, this shit ain't worth it. That's fucked up. Alan Wicker, he did all these travel shows years ago. Smart fella with a suit on. Never saw him covered in shit. Never saw him knackered, whinging, moaning. People will be watching it going, oh, what's wrong with you? It's India, what do you expect? Okay. Yeah, well, you're not here, are you? <laughs> That's actually a fair point, too, you know. Like, you don't know how you're going to react to something until you're actually there. That is that is a fair point. You, you can't, like, now, I'm pretty sure most people are just going to laugh at this, but, you know, you can't judge Carl, like, on a real level. To, you know, he's in a completely different place that he doesn't understand with people he doesn't under. Like, you can't, you know, you can't judge the man, you know? You gotta, you gotta understand that. I'm sure... If you throw a lot of these people into, I don't know, the center of London, they're probably going to be like, what the fuck is this shit, too? So, you know. <laughs> fucking up. What a fucking dick. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> Making Carl listen while he's just talking about having such a great time in New York, flying first class with a bunch of champagne. What a fucking dickhead. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Fuck you, though. Yeah. Speak to you later, boy. I don't know anything about the festival. Just you know, other than what Steve told me about it being a, a massive religious thing, and it's it's by a famous river. You know? So was the paint stuff related to the festival? Because the festival's so far away. I um, that's why I figured it's something different, but. Let me know. And the Ganges, which I've heard of, but other than that, I, I, I don't know why I'm going. And on top of all that, you know, Ricky's told me that I'm staying at a place called Lahore House. Sounds good, doesn't it? Your tent is ready. Tent. Yes. Tent. Brilliant. I haven't slept. I've been putting a tent. You'll see. She's all right. Yes. Actually, that's not bad at all. Bathroom. This is well smart. Shit, that's a nice ass tent, you know. Brilliant. Bit of a stretch there for the toilet paper, if I'm being picky, that, that distance. But I'll tell you what, I am uh, really chuffed. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've been camping, I've done tents before, but nothing like this. Yeah, that's the nicest tent I've ever seen in my life. I've got a normal toilet, which is handy because the way I've been feeling. Nice comfy bed, view of that, you know. That's a beautiful river. view. Can't ask for more. A lot of people say, going to India to find myself. The colour of that. Oh, what happens if I change? And then I go home and I'm all different. Suzanne's going, what's happened to you? And then she doesn't like the, the new me that I found. And then I'll start to hate myself because I'm not the person who I thought I was. I know who I am. Bloody hell, I'm getting bills for Carl Pilkington left, right and centre, so I hope I'm in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it, eh? <laughs> but man, that's a beautiful view, bro. Those tents are so nice. Like, wow. I, don't, I genuinely don't think I've ever seen like a better tent like that in my life. That's insane. I'd love to stay there. Not wrong with this, is there? All this space here. Eh? Honestly, I'm happy. I can stay here now for the rest of the time here. Eh? Yeah. If I'm listening to him doing that, isn't that me getting involved in that enough? Just saying, let's just have a few days here. Eh? That's the Ganges. I'll look at that. Isn't that a big part of India? Let's focus <laughs> on that for a bit. It's not very interesting telly to just stay here all day, though, Carl. I don't know why Steve wants me to go to this religious festival, because he knows I'm not into it. The only things that's making me sort of interested a little bit is the bloke who's had his arm in the air for 12 years and the elephant baba. Other than that, I don't know what's down there for me. What the fuck? Okay, listen, I, I'm not trying to be like a dickhead to any religious stuff, right? Like, do not, do not be like, oh, you asshole, you disrespecting my religion. Like, no, 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 I don't mean it like that at all. The only but thing what the fuck is that guy's head? Interested a little bit is a bloke who's had his arm in the air for 12 years 
and the elephant baboon. What? 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 What the fuck happened to him? Why? Why does he have a ball sack on his face? Listen, listen. Okay, I, I repeat to any to any of my Indian friends. I am not trying to be a fucking dickhead. But please explain to me what is going on with. Why does he look like Squidward? What the fuck? Nah. No, it's down there for me. <laughs> Alright, mate. How are you getting on, man? Uh. Well, I've, I've had better holidays. Um, <laughs> it's not a holiday. I have to keep in mind you're not a holiday, my friend. You are making a travel program for the television. Now, the Kum Mela Festival is the largest spiritual festival in the world. All this spiritual stuff you keep harping on about. It's not me. Why do you think I'm interested in... Carl, you don't have to find spirituality. You're God. You don't have to become Hindu. Just go. And but that's we... like going to a brothel and saying, don't mind me, I'm just going to stand over here and watch. <laughs> you involved, but you shouldn't be there. <laughs> I thought you'd start to see how things are different around the world. Your eyes are opened. Yeah. It's a beautiful, weird, extraordinary place. Yeah. And, and tonight, I had some sort of new pudding that I've never had before. Carrots with sort of milk and sugar on it. I enjoyed it. I'd have it again. I don't know if I'll find it in London. I don't want to watch you eating carrots on the telly! <laughs> 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 He said, I don't want to watch you eat carrots on the telly. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love this show, man. The second episode, and I'm already falling in love with this show, man. Even in HD. <laughs> this is a bit weird, isn't it? Are these, are these the Baba people? I mean, they're, they're meant to have special powers, aren't they? But look at them. I mean, I thought they'd be sort of more religious looking, do you know what I mean? All prim and proper. Some of them haven't even oh, got pants on. What the f- yeah, I don't- yeah, That's yeah, too yeah, much for you two, oh, my I'm man. Ah, welcome. You should take his lesson. First Baba. It reminded me of- I, I'm not gonna fast forward yet, but I, I, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be ready to fast forward because I, I'm not- I'm not trying to see all that. Bill Oddy. His feet are backwards. Only yoga. Um, yoga. Big power. Yeah. Big power. Yeah. And even though he's meant to be this mystical nah, what the f man, mm -mm. different life and everything. Okay, I'm just looking at him pain. thinking, I haven't seen the goodies for ages. <laughs> and then the other Baba looked like Jim Morrison. <laughs> there he was, Bro, start bollock naked. Shades on. He was concerned about hurting his eyes in the sun, but wasn't worried about you uh, know, let's, uh, sunburning his ass cheeks. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be an asshole to anybody, but I'm not trying to look at naked men. Nah, I'm good. I'm good on that. Oh. Yeah, there's that babble out of the paper. I, I hope y'all. I hope y'all understand why. But uh, yeah. So could he explain the the reason why he's decided to do this? He has chosen this and as a part of his way of uh, communicating and his way of reaching to the God. That, that to me is, is it's, it's ridiculous. It's sort of, most of the time, my left hand is only helping out the right hand. It's if I'm washing up, I pass it something. What? That's it, or it just also, that to me is... Look at this dude! As a part of his way of uh, communicating and That's his way insane. of reaching to the God. Nah, that's actually insane. Dude, look at his... Wow. So he's literally had his hand up there for... Tw his fingers are all discombobulated and... Wow. That's that's crazy. Yeah, like, bruh. That, that to me I have is, my is, shit up is, for like... It's ridiculous. It's I don't know, 20 minutes and I'll get tired, man. Right it's if I'm washing up. Pass it something. Like, yeah. It, or it just all something while <laughs> Shit, all the work. Fuck that. I understand that one arm is better than the other, but I'd never say, oh, but I don't need it. Yeah. Right. For has, real. Has, has anybody ever took it further and done both? Both arms? There are others also who do it with one leg up, both hands up, both the legs up, so they never stand on their feet. Wait. So that's, that's no existence. Yeah. yeah. We all dedicate our lives to when, something, don't we? I, I gotta say, I respect the shit out of the dedication of this guy. That, like, I could never. 
mm -mm, I, I respect the crap out of the dedication this guy put. Like, I'm just gonna hold my hand here, my arms up for the rest of my, like, I, I respect it, but that's crazy. Like, you telling me people do it with their legs? It, like, wow. That's, wow. Been with Suzanne for 16 years. That's dedication for you. And I've got me two arms to do things for her. Is he married? How does he help around the house? Albert, windows need cleaning. Mm, you'll have to do it. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's just a great excuse, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was better than I thought it was. You know, quite interesting. Yeah. And I'm going back tomorrow, aren't I, to see uh, the elephant baba. It's got head like elephant. Should be good. Hopefully there's no more naked men on my fucking, like, I'm... But... I'm gonna go down to um, the Cumbermela Festival again. Which is weird, isn't it? Because I, I didn't want to go initially, but I um, found it quite interesting. And the translator's called, and he's told me that he's found the elephant baba. Oh yeah, I can see him, yeah, I can see him. Again? Yeah, yeah, we dig off. Shoes off. Wait. Money down there. Oh. So what? How is he feeling today? Wait, is he well? What happened to him? I guess hopefully we're about to learn, but like, actually, what happened? Like, it looks like he had like a tumor or something on his face at one point. And this isn't this isn't me trying to again. If there's any Indians watching, I'm not trying to be like disrespectful to your culture, but like, what is how? Okay, good. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't mind me looking uh, at all. This is fine. Yeah. And he, does it have any sort of health issues with him? Does he struggle doing anything? <laughs> yeah, he's got like tumors. He's quite healthy. He does his yoga every day. Yeah. Yeah. Could you um, get him to explain what effect it has had on living here and looking like this? The main god for them is Ganesh, the elephant god. And so they consider to be kind of an incarnation of Lord Ganesh. It was how huh. I thought it would be, you know, meeting Elephant Baba. He seems quite happy. You know, he's, he's so he he's kind of treated like royalty then because of that. Because they think he's like the reincarnation of his of their god, so he, so they basically treat him as if he was a god. Then that's, that's really that's interesting. Okay, wow. I, I'm actually this is really intriguing to me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. What can do with the way he's been born. It was his mate that surprised me more. What the? Nah, bro. Flips his, uh, nah, stick nah, 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 bro. Nah. Nah. Uh-uh. Well, I don't want to no. Down, yes. One-to-one -one discussions on the... So, sorry. Line. Sorry, but not sorry. No, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. And I levels of consciousness. Again, to anybody watching, I'm sorry I'm fast-forwarding through that bit, but first of all, YouTube will fucking curse my channel. Second of all, I don't, I don't need to see no dude... Wrapping whatever the fuck around. No. No. Just no. And apparently I'm going to meet one of his disciples, a fella called Davram. Oh, yeah. Are you Davram? America. Davram? America. What? Are you Davram? Yes, I am. What do you mean, America? Oh, I what thought you, you said, where did I come from? Yeah, so my name is Davram. Davram. So he's yeah. from America? We're going to meet really one of the great saints of India. And Swamiji has reached the height of spiritual development. Just being in the presence of a master of that caliber elevates one's awareness. Huh. And will he keep asking me if I'm feeling that? No. 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 I'm trying to think of times in my life where I felt a bit different. Right. And I remember it was years ago. I nearly choked to death mm. on an ice pop. 
<laughs> what the fuck's Carl I mean, going on about? To give me, do you know the thing where you squeeze around the waist and sort of cough it up? Right. And I got my breath back. Uh -huh. And after that, I felt quite uh, alive. Yeah, your okay, adrenaline's so probably pumping. Experience, magnify it many fold and let it be uninterrupted. Hey, how are you, Swami G? Absolutely fine, absolutely fine. That's good. You are keeping good health? I've been better. You as an individual, you must be analyzing yourself whether you are body oriented or mind oriented or soul oriented. I'd say mind. Uh, once you know how to analyze and systematize and synchronize systematically, then ultimately you could be the source of inspiration for millions. Mm. Anyway, next thing I know, Swamiji says, I want to take you across the Ganges in a boat because he wanted to cleanse my soul or something. Never had it cleansed before. <laughs> That's so cool, look at him! You will have to dip out of it. I will take you there. You will have to dip there. I'm not dipping there. I don't know. No chance. That's a chance. Now, this, see, this is the kind of stuff I'd be down for. This is the kind of stuff I'm liking. I'm liking this stuff. I like, I like this guy. This guy's got a good vibe about him. I'm like, I'm liking this guy. I don't know how to say his name, and I'm not even gonna try because. If those of you watch me uh, react to my other language songs, you guys know I will butcher that shit. <laughs> you alright, Swami? Oh, shit, no. Hang on. Hello? What's going on? I'm, What's I'm, going on? I'm just in the Ganges at the moment, just on a rubber dinghy with a 77 year old man. <laughs> oh, That's so funny. I'm sat on the front here with a rubber dinghy. Can I call you back in a bit? Well, I was just going out now. I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. It's time to call, isn't it? Would you like to have the bath in the Ganges? You know, and it, it wrong though. For me to get in there, it doesn't. It doesn't mean anything to me, does it? It doesn't count, surely. He said, "Do you want to go in the Ganges?" I said, "No." It is the best medicine on the earth. Yeah. Yeah. It ah. can heal you and it can help you and can inspire you. And he left out that. Which I thought was quite good. He didn't force it on me. I respect. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I respect. I respect that guy for not trying to like push his thing onto him. But at the same time, it's like, honestly, I think I'd do it. Like you, if you go to their place to, you know, even though I guess Carl probably really didn't want to, and for the sake of the entertainment on the show. But like, you know, if you're going to their place, you want to, you know experience their way of life so you might as well do it but i i respect this guy's not trying to force and, him to um, these times do we need to do we need to, to skip to <laughs> it is a kind of divine madness what what the, okay <laughs> I, at least at least there's something on this fucking suit <laughs> this time <laughs> What the hell? Bruh, I don't need to see this dude. I'll go in. And he did. So I had to. Ah. What the fuck? Bruh. I thought that was him, and suddenly it's like, oh, it's dunk your head. Yeah, once more. Yeah, right. You know, not once either. Bruh. Do it three times, eh? Three dunks. And you don't do that with a ginger nut and a cup of tea. That's a, that's a two dunk. Yeah, yeah, one more, one more. So, do that. He's happy. And he was saying, oh, look what it's done to you. You look full of life. And it did wake me up a bit, but it is like minus five. <laughs> After having the bath in the Ganges, you have the new dress, Indian dress. Okay. You know what? He's looking. He looks kind of fresh in it, though. You know. <laughs> Yo, Carl. Carl looks pretty fresh in that shit. I'm not even gonna lie to him. I didn't mean to exit. That's... Look at him, bro. Bro, he pulls that shit off. You know, I'll give it to Carl. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny how things change. I said I won't get in there. Hey. I don't feel like I'm around some sort of special power, but he seems like a nice bloke, and that's exactly. what you want, really. Nice bloke, makes you feel welcome in his gaff. 
he's fed us, he's let me have a bed, messed about on his rubber dinghy. You know, if that's what spirituality is about, then that's just being mates, really. It's basic, isn't it? It's about getting on with people. He's a transformed man. Look at this guy. Very airy. <laughs> <laughs> again yeah i like i like the old dude though i like like i like this guy's vibe so yo yo big respect to this guy big all right carl now i know you've got a long drive today to the taj mahal so ricky and i thought you might like a little stop off um the cow is obviously a very important and profound creature in india so we've arranged for you to call in at a lovely little cow sanctuary all right, now I know you think that sometimes Ricky and I do stuff just to annoy you, but oh, it's hell no. run by Harry Krishnas, all right? And when have they ever annoyed anyone? I don't know why Steve sent me to look at Hey. Him. Hey, cut it out. It's okay. Hey, no. It's okay. Sorry, my dogs being dickheads again, growling at... I don't know, I think it's my parents. Cut it out. It's okay. We've got them at home. Anyway, as soon as I got in there, they had me on cow worship duty. I'm giving it a sense of passing. Here, we are going to be making some cakes. Cow dung cake. Cakes. Is that fresh? Yeah, this is fresh. Anyway, these cow dung cakes, you know, it's a type of fuel. Wait. It shouldn't really have the word cake in it. <sighs> are you, they don't eat the cow shit, right? Please, please don't tell me they eat the cow it's shit. Oh, it is as well, isn't it? I thought it might have just been mud, but it is proper cow shit. I mean, I was worried about the local thing about, you know, using your hand when you've been to the toilet. I'm getting neck eyeing cow shit. My oh, God. I never thought I'd be doing that. Nah. I've been ill twice already, so this isn't going to help the situation, is it? I thought yeah. I was on the way to the Taj Mahal today. They said, oh, let's stop over here. From, yeah, from going to the Taj Mahal, the fucking plane with cow shit. How, the way shit changes. No problem. I see some cows. What can go wrong? And then, like, just as I'm leaving, you know, I'm thinking I'm getting out of there, they drag me into some sort of souvenir shop. Soap? Yeah. Here, we use cow dung juice. Cow dung juice. juice. Yeah. No one I know has ever been rushing around going into body shops saying, you haven't got any uh, cow shit, have you? Cow shit. <laughs> it's not needed. Yeah, so not nah. necessary in life. Yeah, I'm... Uh, tooth powder. Right, toothpaste, but powder. Like powder, yeah. And what, made out of cow shit. What's this made from? Cow urine, cow dung, black pepper. You can still light the cow without going that far with the... Yeah! With no, the... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not putting anything made out of cow shit and piss in my mouth. Nah. Uh uh, I don't even drink coffee because of the crap in it. No. It's in the piss. Did he can drink? Over my arm then. Oh God! <laughs> it was just like old man piss, sort of. When your granddad's bin hasn't flushed, and you drink that. Yeah. This is for all kind of hair problems. It yeah. cures baldness. Yeah. Come all the way to India, sticking well, cow shit on my head. You know. If I say uh. As somebody from the future, I, I gotta say it didn't work. He he's uh, he he went bald. They'd get stuff out of a chicken and rub it over your head. They'd go, "Don't be stupid." But because it's a cow and it's this sort of religious animal, yeah, it's just yeah, drink it straight direct. Get the tail. Uh, it's just too much. I think it's it annoyed me a bit. Yeah, they need to they need to go grab a fucking bottle and scoop that shit up. I have still got bits under my nails. Yeah, no. Oh, the puppy! Just, you know, even like that travelling today. Normally, I like travelling around, sat in a car, looking out of a window, looking at life going on, but it's not its not a nice thing to do in India. Honestly, I just want to go home. Oh, Jesus. It stinks. The eyes are burning. All right, Carl, it's Steve, mate. Um, Ricky and I thought, you know, as it's approaching the end of your time in India... We thought okay, we nah, 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 as a man. 
they had the whole thing. The eyes are burning. Why the hell did oh, you go up it's next it's to like, Carl? Um, wicked, I thought, you know, as it's... No, nah, listen, listen to, 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 all your, to all you women watching. That, that's like one of the unwritten rules of men. I guess not in India, but at least in America. If there's a bunch of urinals, you go to the farthest one. You don't go next to... No. No. I... Out of everything, that that's that's no. Approaching the end of your time in India, we thought we would treat you, so we booked you into the honeymoon suite of a hotel with a view of the Taj Mahal to give you a little bit of a morale boost. So uh, enjoy it, mate. See you soon, mate. This is the hotel. Yeah, this is the hotel. This one. Yeah, this. This is the main This hotel's got a honeymoon suite. Hilkington, honeymoon suite. Good, isn't it? It's good. <laughs> honeymoon suite? This isn't a honeymoon suite. <laughs> You'd have a honeymoon here. Eh? Uh, what's the cupboard oh. I think I think this goes back down to what you're used to, you know, like if you're used to say how this guy up, you know, back here is living up in the shop, then yeah, this probably is like a honeymoon suite. Versus if you're used to like, you know, the nice, you know, apartments of London and shit, then nah, this place sucks that you know, it's all it's all about perspective, you know. Alright. Sort of an ensuite shed, which is uh, quite handy. Oh, God, it stinks. <clears throat> Fuck me. What a shithole. <laughs> he don't it. give a shit. I, that's one thing I gotta give to Carl's. At least he's he's like, nah, this place fucking sucks ass. <laughs> Is this one a dartboard? Hmm. Thought that was gonna be the fridge to the room. Terps, paintbrushes. Good. I mean, that's what you want on your honeymoon, isn't it, really? Every time you have a smell of Ron Seal, oh, that, that takes me back to our special night. I can't see the Taj. He, he said you look straight out there. I mean, it's too damn dark. That's what you can see, that. Oh. It's madness, that a dead body staying in something half decent like that. Ah, I'm in here. <laughs> I hate it, honestly. I, f I really hate it here. Fuck this, I'm not staying here. C can't be arsed with this. Carl, where are you going? No! Carl! <coughs> Carl, where are you going, mate? Fucking, no, I just... I'm not staying in that room. What's it about? Well, I don't think anyone near this quite as bad. I mean, it's not... Your room's not that bad. Compared to ours. It stinks as shit. What do you mean it's not that bad? It fucking stinks. I want to see their room. Wait, because they said their room's way worse. I want to see their room. What's their room like? Let's be real, though. Carl's not going to find a better spot. It's just that I've been here for, like, ages. I'm knackered. I haven't slept. It's another noisy road. I've been ill. Do you know what I mean? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I bet many a bloke spent a night in here on their own, even though it's a honeymoon suite. I bet the woman says, that's it, it's over. This way you bring me for my wedding night, forget it. <laughs> Wow, that looks okay. The Taj Mahal looks really cool, like with all the lights and shit on it. Six in the morning. Been awake all night. Bro, look, they got monkeys and shit jumping around on the roof. Look at that. I'm not feeling my best to be honest. Bro, they got monkeys jump. I wish America had monkeys that just jumped from place to place, like. 
<laughs> Actually, I'm probably glad they don't. I feel like I'd be the one to try to go pet the monkey and get my hand ripped off. <laughs> but so it's your first proper glimpse of the Taj Mahal, Carl. How's it feel? It's all right. Huh? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, first glimpse. What do you think? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's it's, it's all right. <laughs> It is. It took 20 years to build. He built it for his dead wife. I just think it was a case of keeping himself busy. They say that, don't they? When someone dies, it's a lot yeah. of your life. So give yourself a little project to do. That, that's facts, you know. That's actually kind of true. Quite a big project, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a huge project. Yeah. I mean, did he treat her well when, when she was knocking around? It is pretty, though. Four wives. Know what I mean? One of four wives. Well... Well, where the well, we know who the favorite was because we don't see any other Taj Mahals. <laughs> you know, we know who the best wife was. Like shit. No, oh, I had three other wives. I shouldn't have done that, really. Best sticker in something nice. Now she's dead. It's too late. It's too late, mate. Don't come crawling back once she's dead. Don't come crawling back when she's dead. Ah, the shit Carl says. <laughs> Ramesh. Hi, I'm Hi. Carl. Nice to meet you, sir. And welcome to the Taj Mahal. Thank you very much. When you look the Taj Mahal from the next arch, like a Taj Mahal in a frame. Beautiful, like the postcard view. Yeah, it works well, huh, doesn't it? Nicely, nicely fits in, doesn't it? Yes. Your dream come true. You're in front of this beautiful building, majestic. Is this part of your tour? Yeah. <coughs> there you can see a beautiful reflection view of Taj Mahal. Like a buy one, get one free. <laughs> buy one, get one free. Good offer. Yeah? Next step. So, Actually, I wonder. You can see. The... I wonder. Hold up. Where's my phone at? Right here. Okay. I, I just, I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. How much is the Taj Mahal worth? Here is information from Wikipedia. It's worth approximately... 32 million which is in the US that's about 1 billion dollars. Wow, okay. I don't I don't what's the Indian currency? I see the symbol but I don't know. What's the Indian currency? Indian rupees. The rupees. Currency. So it's 32 million rupees or about a million dollars. That's a billion dollars. That's that's crazy. Wow. Princess Diana Chira. When it was in 1992, she came here, she took the post from here. Daft how the tourists all love the Princess Diana chair. Queuing up to sit down on the chair that Princess Diana sat on. Load of nonsense. <laughs> We're after these two, I, like how, I like how Carl's just like, a load of nonsense, who the fuck cares? <laughs> just a sausage factory, sit down, look miserable. Next. Yes, hands on the knees. That's his style. Very nice. Is that good? You have a photogenic face. Taj Mahal is beautiful. <laughs> you are more handsome. Have you got any Buddy. feelings coming up? Uh, stomach's better now. It's fine. I meant more of an emotional nature being here. Um, how can you have an emotional feeling here? There's like 40 people stood around. Princess Diana had it closed off, didn't she? She could sit here and think about stuff. But compared to Can you go there, inside? This is peaceful. And I think that's why Diana came here. That's why she looked fed up. She probably had the shits for two days. Sick of the racket. <laughs> Crap hotel. She's like, God, when am I going home? Nothing to do with a marriage breakup. It's India. The main white is stretcher. Four sides symmetrical. Look from all sides, same view. Right. Wow, that's so crazy. So by the center line, Taj Mahal divide like a mirror image. Half this side, half other side. It is, isn't it? Exactly. That's interesting. Yes, sir. I find it odd, to be honest. He's built for a dead person, yet he was doing all that symmetrical stuff. He's like, that is really cool. It's almost like having a gravestone with a Sudoku on it. What I want to see the inside, is it a place though. To sort of remember someone, have a special moment, or is it a place to go and have a puzzle? It's like that thing. Have you ever done that thing where you have a mirror? Hold up. And you go like that. In Hold up, because they're, they're not going to show the inside. Inside of the Taj Mahal pictures. 
showing pictures that match. Oh wow, so it kind of it kind of looks like an old church almost. Like that's the best way I could describe it. Interesting. Okay. In the mirror. Yeah. And it looks like it looks like both sides are going Straight. like it's the same same idea, same isn't it? Way. Yeah. That's really that's really cool though. This is the best way to see it for me, this. Yeah, wow. It's not the best river I've ever been down. I think I've just seen a fish with three heads. <laughs> oh shit. I just like the peacefulness. Yeah. Alright, boy. Alright. What's going on? Yeah, I've just been to see the Taj. Oh yeah? Any good? Yeah, it's alright, you know, I was pretty impressed. <laughs> What's your impression of India in general? I ate it. I stayed at a place that had an ensuite shed. Did he stay there? <laughs> uh, and this is like the final view of it, isn't it, before I go home? Hello? Alright, mate, how's it going? It's been interesting, Steve. I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I've shot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just over there, they cremate bodies over there. So you, you're wow. never that far away from a bit of weirdness in India. Even here, probably on the telly, you're going, that looks lovely. Wildlife going on there. Right. The sun going down. The Taj Mahal. Hang on, what's that? There's a load of dead bodies at the back. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Definitely not. <laughs> it's been the only building in uh, India that has a bit of normality to it. So maybe that's why it's a wonder. Yeah, I can't see anything matching this one, to be honest. Pretty serious. This, was, that, this was interesting. Hell yeah. Hell, this was, this was interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't I wasn't a big fan of like the naked man bits. I I'm I'm not gonna lie, not not a fan of that. With take away that bit, I loved this episode. Like other than the other than those bits, the episode was great. But I I gotta I gotta say I liked the first episode more just just for that reason alone. But this was definitely interesting. I learned a lot about India, so that was. That was cool. I, I had some good laughs. Hey, I enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys, you know, want me to watch episode three, Jordan. I don't even know what the fuck Jordan is. <laughs> but, hey, man, give me fat ass like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for fast forwarding through some of the bits, but I just, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't in good conscience watch that shit. Just, nah. The, the naked man bits, just no, I'm sorry. But either way, I hope you have a great time. We out. Bye. <laughs>